on NBC. And mom, it's all right. You can let me in. I have a security clearance. I'm classified garbage. You may in. Thank you, Captain Rob. I used to go with Truman's daughter, and this is the job I got. <laughs> Would you open the doors, please? I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're doing a marvelous job. I mean it sincerely. Take good care of the front. <laughs> I wish he would stop tearing up these popularity polls. <laughs> what a mess. The pleasure to clean Hubert's office. Hardly ever used. <laughs> Dirt everywhere. It's terrible. Nobody likes a sloppy cheek. It's just terrible. Dirt. Hm. Just man can't be neat. <laughs> <laughs> Broken Earth of Kit Records. Continue. Oh, look at that. Bobby Kennedy has a reward out for this. <laughs> Bobby Kennedy has a reward out for the comb. <laughs> Bobby Kennedy has a big bush and he has to... <laughs> Either Charles de Gaulle was here or he's been eating margarine again. <laughs> Let us continue. <laughs> Look at all these documents. I'll be a son of a gun. The whole world is run right from behind this desk. Boy, the president sure gets a lot of mail. Here's one from Prime Minister Wilson. Here's one from Uthant. Madam Pandit. What's that? Dear occupant, we are prepared to shingle your roof if you will allow us to use your house as a model on a block. It must be cold. <laughs> yeah. And here's one from Nasser. Not on this show, you know. Here is a memo to the Secret Service, the CIA, and the FBI. I do not like, appreciate, or accept your newfangled methods of operation. I want all of you to stop watching Mission Impossible. Senator Murphy is working late again tonight. <laughs> yeah, now. 
No, I'm afraid he's not in. Who's calling? Which bird? Oh, Lucy Bird. Oh, the baby's not feeling well. You want Dr. Spock's number? I'm sure the FBI has it. <laughs> You're welcome. Give my best to the family. Ah, oh, boy, what a job. What an office. Americans, I mean, Cecilia's a bread. Wise up and get used to some. No, that's Jackie Leonard. That's not true. Four score and seven years ago. No, that was Raymond Massey. Yes, sir. President. It's where he must have a load of. <coughs> Mr. President. That's my name. Walter Stone, Miami Daily News. Mr. President. Speak. How do you feel about Robert McNamara going to the World Bank? I hated to see McNamara leave the band. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great little group. We did one-nighters in an Ethel bus. Next. Lawrence Klein, Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Mr. President, how do you feel about the polls? I like all minority groups. <laughs> and, I, and I think we should stop with those bad taste jokes. Uh, the lady reporter there with the pink hat. Bill Richmond, Woman's Wear Daily. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, Mr. President, what do you think about the Rockefeller Lindsay dispute? That's garbage. Next. <laughs> Mr. President, with a money crisis and impending inflation, how do you expect to prevent the gold drain in our economy and maintain the balance of payments without raising the taxes and interest rates? Let me say this to that. Next. <laughs> Jay Burton, San Francisco Chronicle. Sir, who do you think your toughest opponent will be in the coming election? The American people. Next. Frank <laughs> Cooper. Uh, Los Angeles <coughs> Times. You better move. Next. Mr. President, what are you doing to help Lady Bird in her continuing effort to beautify America? Well, uh, it's a good question. Lady Bird and I have big plans. We're putting Raquel Welch up on Mount Rushmore. I uh, know not just the head, but the whole stuff. It'll be great, and all the other heads will go like this. Hey, did you see that? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen. Don't forget you're all invited to the ranch for the weekend. We're barbecuing Fulbright. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have two more floors to do. <laughs> tough job. Tough, tough job. That's the hotline. What'll I do? It must be important. Maybe I better answer it. Hello? Hello? United States here. Make love, not war. Who? <laughs> oh, Russia? Dada? Dada, Dada? <laughs> you get the baby off the phone, I can't understand a word he's saying. <laughs> oh, the Kremlin calling. What? Oh, the Red House. Oh, oh, the janitor? In the Kremlin? Just like me? Oh, by the way, how's your sketch going? <laughs> well, they're peasants. Huh? No. No one is around, no. Just me. You can talk. Huh? You want to what? Oh, you want to defect. You want me to help you escape to America? Well, sure, I'd be glad to help. How? It's simple. I am going to be an American. Congratulations, you're just in time to pay your income tax. <laughs>
butterfly wings, fairy tale kings, and each new day undoubtedly brings still more beautiful things. The world abounds with many delights, magical fanciful flight and those who dream on beautiful nights dream of beautiful things beautiful days of sun his flowers beautiful sea his breeze beautiful nights of moon Fly like pendulum swings, delicate things, butterfly wings, but life is full of beautiful things. The world. That's great, it's a print.
Let's strike the set, move everything out. Same time tomorrow. That's a wrap. Okay. Okay. Good evening, I'm Professor Shuffleoff of the Buffalo School of Dance. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to speak tonight to you about dancing. The why, the wherefore, and, time permitting, the frug. <laughs> it is <Yeah>. common... <laughs> Dancing was invented in the year 1423. Before that, everybody just started out. <laughs> Which made dances a very cheap form of entertainment because there was no need to spend money for an orchestra. No one knows the name of the first man who invented dancing because even when he invented it, he didn't know what it was he invented. <laughs> he would go to parties and get up in the middle of the floor and do stuff like this. <laughs> in a ball conducted at the time, 68% of the people thought he just walked funny. 22% thought he was nuts, and the remainder said they would vote for Reagan. <laughs> one reason, one reason, indivisible, no, one reason dancing did not catch on immediately was that music had not been invented. As you can imagine, if a man came home and caught you dancing with his wife, and he heard no music, he could only come to one conclusion or another. <laughs> Actually, dancing originally had a religious significance. Men danced to please the God. Now most men dance to appease their wives. That alone keeps most men on their toes. <laughs> now, let us learn how some of the most popular dances are done. <whistles> Thank you. Wait in the car. <coughs> Let us examine the first dance. This is the basic movement on which all dance steps are based. The black one is the left foot, the right one is the white foot. The left foot moves this way, and the right foot moves that way. You can see it's quite elementary and it'd be mastered at any dance studio in the country in less than six weeks at a cost of eight or nine thousand dollars in your old car. <laughs> Here is the same step after you get through paying for the dance lesson. So much for the foxtrot. <clears throat> this brings us to the tango. The left foot moves forward while the right moves sideways, then the left pivots and the right follows through and slips across, while the right foot does the same thing only in reverse. Of course, if you do it with a partner, it can become complicated. <laughs> Finally, this brings us to the most recent form of dancing, the Watusi and its variations. <laughs> As you can see, the Watusi, in the Watusi dance, the feet do not move. The feet are merely there to keep the wiggly stuff from falling on the floor. <laughs> when speaking about these dances, we must remember that it all started from the ballet, as I will now demonstrate with my able assistant. Debbie, Linda, Leib, Louie. <laughs>
Thank you. Good. Can we hear it from the second row now? <laughs> well, we have a very good show for you. And uh, some marvelous guests with great ideas. And I think you're really going to enjoy the show. Let me introduce it. Well, gang, good to see you all. Nice to have you here on the show. I think tonight we ought to start off by talking about books. Um, and then, um, maybe a... How about a song? Uh, Ava? Now, and think of it, there is no doubt I could win a place in history if I could talk to the animals. Just imagine it, chatting with a chimp and chimpanzee. Imagine talking to a tiger, chatting with a cheetah. What a neat achievement it would be. If we could talk to the animals, learn their languages, maybe take an animal degree. I'd study elephant and eagle, buffalo and beagle, alligator, guinea pig and flea. I would converse in polar bear and python, and I would curse fluent kangaroo. If people ask me, can you speak rhinoceros? I'd say, of course there is. Can't you? I conferred with our furry friends, man to animal, think of the amazing repartee. If I could walk with the animals, talk with the animals, grunt, squeak, squawk with the animals, and they could talk to me. You're probably wondering why I asked you all here. What? How's the family? Oh, wonderful. Have you the hiccups? You're getting better? Good. Now we're going to have a meeting gag. Mr. Elephant. Going to be working for Nixon this year, are you? Rockefeller? Romney? Regan? Nobody? Aha, you forgot, didn't you? Joke. I love your toothpaste. Yeah? Joke. Just come from a pajama party? Joke. How are all the other inmates? <laughs> When'd you get out of the tank? Oh, good heavens. You want a zebra joke? <laughs> no? Ladies and gentlemen, one of the first hippies. Which end is up? Oh, I would walk a mile for you. One mile for you, I would walk. Stiff neck? Oh, my llama. My great llama. Oh, llama. Llama. My llama. Tell me something. My llama done told me. I study every living creature's language. I could speak to all of them on sight. If friends said, can he talk in crab of Pelican? You'd say like Pelican, and you'd be right. And if you just stop and think of it, there's no doubt of it, I could win a place in history. If I could walk with the animals, talk with the animals, run, squeak, squawk with animals, and they Marvin, when you sing, I always say to myself, ah. Oh, thank you, sir. That's the kind of sentiment that really makes me believe my trip out here wasn't in vain. No, I really mean it, Murph. You're my favorite singer next to Carl Rabazza and Joe Valachi. Oh, that's terrific. Uh, now, if you leave the stage, I'm going to do my next number, okay? Leave the stage? You're uh, not talking to that Britisher now that you have on your show. Yeah. I'm the Yiddisher, and this is my show. <laughs> I just thought I wanted to tell you that, you see, because all I wanted to really do, Merv, is to do a do-it with you. 
Uh, do it. D-O-I-T, do it. Oh, do it. Yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be nice. Well, that's all. nice. No, that is nice, Jerry. But see, I work alone. A-L-O-A-N, alone. So if you leave, then I'll be alone. Am I right? Could I stay a while with you? <laughs> this is so long. A uh, solo. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, Merv. <laughs> I'll go, but you'll be sorry. Jerry, if you go, I'll be glad. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You d- okay, Merv. Yeah. You asked for it, Here and you will be sorry. You will see. Okay. I'm going. I know you are. Bye. So long, Mark. So long. Get on with it. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Would you say that I'm leading you on? Well, that's just what I want you to do. Don't you notice how hopelessly I'm lost? That's why I'm following you. Look at me. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. And I feel like I'm clinging to a... Hold it there. No, we can... Yeah, we can go right through this. I can't understand. I get misty holding your hand. Mmm. Walk my way. The violin begin to play. Or it might be the sound of your hello. That music I hear. I get the sea. Would you say? That I'm leading you on Well, that's just What I want you to do Don't you know Obviously I'm lost That's why And a thousand violins begin to play Or it might be the sound of your hello Music I hear I'm so misty and too much in love Would you say that I'm leading you on. Well, that's just what I want you to do. Don't you notice how hopelessly I'm lost? That's why I'm following you. Would I wander through this wonderland alone? Never knowing my way from my hat from my heart. I'm too misty and too much in love. <laughs> Look at me. It ain't easy. Take a look at me. <laughs> I'm in
One thing about chickens, if they like you, they'll do anything for you. <laughs> That corny music means I've just fallen madly in love with this beautiful but unsuspecting country girl on whom I will use my slick city ways to take advantage of. Unless I miss my guess, that corny music means he's just fallen madly in love with me, a beautiful but unsuspecting country girl on whom he will use his slick city ways to take advantage of, <laughs> which is all right with me. Boy, lucky for them, they didn't say that out loud. <laughs> hey, hey, Miss Elwood, hey, you not... Hello there, you beautiful creature. This must be my lucky day. I haven't felt like this since I got stuck in an elevator with a June Taylor dance. <laughs> Megan Marjorie. <laughs> Just being here with you sends chills up and down my spine. Step aside, Minnie. Draft. What draft? The one that is from the coming from your third nostril, boy. <laughs> oh, now, Jethro, don't you dare hurt my pretty stranger. Allow me to introduce myself. I hope you got a short name, because we can only afford a small tombstone. <laughs> now, look, you got me all wrong. I'm just a songwriter looking for some new folk music. Just for inspiration, of course. Mercy! <laughs> I do believe it's Miss Miller. No! Johnny Brill. Not Johnny Scott Brill. You heard of me? No. <laughs> Maybe you heard some of my songs. The eyes of Texas are all bloodshot? No. <laughs> Won't you come home, Pearl Bailey? <laughs> Mary's a grand old flag. Uh -uh. <laughs> well, how about... T for three and three for two. Just you and me. And T. And three for tea, and tea for three for two. Hey, that's right nice, stranger. He's got a nice toe-tapping lip to him. That's mighty nice. I gotta admit, that's nice and nifty. 
Me and Minnie wrote some songs, too. Oh, yeah, we're, we're kind of an illiterate Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> Country music is very popular now. I'd sure like to hear one of your songs. Really? Oh, Jethro, I'll wait here and you go get the music. Oh, no, you don't. You wait here and I'll go get the music. mediocrity about it. See, mediocrity. I knew darn well it was good. Uh, not that I'm interested in it or anything, but uh, how much you want for it? Well, them standards don't come cheap. <laughs> well, you give it for it. Oh, uh, I might go uh, 25 cents. <laughs> I see. Would you like to hear another song? Of course, it's a 50 cent. Of... Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to get my washboard. That's what I do my number with, my washboard. And it's a number that... I got my washboard here. Now, this... I'm going to tune up my washboard. You see? I'm ready to play my number now. Now, you don't want to miss any of this, young boy. I take the washboard and... Uh, I'll make you happy. <laughs> oh, you can make cake without any honey. You can make liquor without any corn. You can be rich without any money. But it's hard to have birthdays unless you were born. people in this room is a sucker, and I guess we all know who that is. <laughs> I'm going to play my 75 cent number for you now. Now I'll warm up my hands. <laughs> Tuner ain't been here in a week. around no just me you can talk huh you want to what oh you want to defect you want me to help you escape to america 
Well, sure, I'd be glad to help. How? It's simple. going to be an American. Congratulations, you're just in time to pay your income tax. That's great. It's a print. Let's strike the set, move everything out. Same time tomorrow. That's a wrap. Professor Shuffleoff of the Buffalo School of Dance. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to speak tonight to you about dancing. The why, the wherefore, and, time permitting, the fruit. <laughs> it is <Yeah>. common... <laughs> Dancing was invented in the year 1423. Before that, everybody just started out. <laughs> Which made dances a very cheap form of entertainment because there was no need to spend money for an orchestra. No one knows the name of the first man who invented dancing because even when he invented it, he didn't know what it was he invented, do they? He would go to parties and get up in the middle of the floor and do stuff like this. <laughs> in a ball conducted at the time, 68% of the people thought he just walked funny. 22% thought he was nuts, and the remainder said they would vote for Reagan. <laughs> one reason, one reason, indivisible, no, one reason dancing did not catch on immediately was that music had not been invented. As you can imagine, if a man came home and caught you dancing with his wife, and he heard no music, he could only come to one conclusion or another. <laughs> Actually, dance 
Dancing originally had a religious significance. Men danced to please the gods. Now most men dance to appease their wives. That alone keeps most men on their toes. <laughs> now, let us learn how some of the most popular dances are done. <whistles> Wait in the car. <laughs> Let us examine the first dance. This is the basic movement on which all dance. Lovers have wings, people wear rings. That's great. It's a print. Let's strike the set, move everything out. Same time tomorrow. That's a wrap. Professor Shuffleoff of the Buffalo School of Dance. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to speak tonight to you about dancing. The why, the wherefore, and, time permitting, the frug. <laughs> it is <Yeah>. common... <laughs> Dancing was invented in the year 1423. Before that, everybody just sat it out. <laughs> Which made dances a very cheap form of entertainment because there was no need to spend money for an orchestra. No one knows the name of the first man who invented dancing because even when he invented it, he didn't know what it was he invented. <laughs> he would go to parties and get up in the middle of the floor and do stuff like this. <laughs> in a ball conducted at the time, 68% of the people thought he just walked funny. 22% thought he was nuts, and the remainder said they would vote for Reagan. <laughs> one reason, one reason, indivisible, no, one reason dancing did not catch on immediately was that music had not been invented. As you can imagine, if a man came home and caught you dancing with his wife, and he heard no music, he could only come to one conclusion or another. <laughs> Actually, dancing originally had a religious significance. Men danced to please the gods. Now most men dance to appease their wives. That alone keeps most men on their toes. <laughs> now, let us learn how some of the most popular dances are done. <whistles> You like it? Well, it's kind of rough, but it does have a certain mediocrity about it. See? Mediocrity! I knew darn well it was good. Uh, not that I'm interested in it or anything, but uh, how much you want for it? Well, them standards don't come cheap. <laughs> well, you give for it. Oh, uh, I might go uh, 25 cents. Ah, <laughs> uh, see. Would you like to hear another song? Of course, it's a fifth of Santa. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to get my washboard. That's what I do my number with, my washboard. And it's a number that... I got my washboard here. Now, this... I'm going to tune up my washboard. You see, I'm 
in this room is a sucker, and I guess we all know who that is. <laughs> I'm going to play my 75 cent number for you now. Now warm up my hand. <laughs> Junior ain't been here in a week. going to be an American. Congratulations, you're just in time to pay your income tax. Gentlemen, don't forget you're all invited to the ranch for the weekend. We're barbecuing Fulbright. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have two more floors to do. Tough job. 
Tough, tough job. That's the hotline. What'll I do? It must be important. Maybe I better answer it. Hello? Hello? United States here. Make love, not war. Who? <laughs> oh, Russia? Dada? Dada, dada? You get the baby off the phone, I can't understand a word he's saying. Oh, the Kremlin calling. What? Oh, the Red House. Oh, who's speaking? Oh, the janitor? In the Kremlin? Just like me? Oh, by the way, how's your sketch going? <laughs> well, they're peasants. Huh? No. No one is around, no. Just me. You can talk. Huh? You want to what? Oh, you want to defect. You want me to help you escape to America? Well, sure, I'd be glad to help. How? It's simple. going to be an American. Congratulations, you're just in time to pay your income tax. That's great. It's a print. Let's strike the set, move everything out. Same time tomorrow. That's a wrap. Professor Shuffleoff of the Buffalo School of Dance. <laughs> Actually, I'm here to speak tonight to you about dancing. The why, the wherefore, and, time permitting, the frug. <laughs> it is <Yeah>. common... <laughs> Dancing was invented in the year 1423. Before that, everybody just started out. <laughs> Which made dances a very cheap form of entertainment because there was no need to spend money for an orchestra. No one knows the name of the first man who invented dancing because even when he invented it, he didn't know what it was he invented, do they? He would go to parties and get up in the middle of the floor and do stuff like this. <laughs> in a ball conducted at the time, 68% of the people thought he just walked funny. 22% thought he was nuts and the remainder said they would vote for Reagan. <laughs> one reason, one reason, indivisible, no, one reason dancing did not catch on immediately was that music had not been invented. As you can imagine, if a man came home and caught you dancing with his wife and he heard no music, he could only come to one conclusion or another. <laughs> Actually, 
Dancing originally had a religious significance. Men danced to please the gods. Now most men dance to appease their wives. That alone keeps most men on their toes. <laughs> now, let us learn how some of the most popular dances are done. <whistles> Thank you. Wait in the car. <laughs> Let us examine the first dance. This is the basic movement on which all dance steps are based. That's the hotline. What'll I do? It must be important. Maybe I better answer it. Hello? Hello? United States here. Make love, not war. Who? <laughs> oh, Russia? Dada? Dada, dada? You get the baby off the phone, I can't understand a word he's saying. Oh, the Kremlin calling. What? Oh, the Red House. Oh, who's speaking? Oh, the janitor? In the Kremlin? Just like me? Oh, by the way, how's your sketch going? <laughs> well, they're peasants. Huh? No. No one is around, no. Just me. You can talk. Huh? You want to what? Oh, you want to defect. You want me to help you escape to America? Well, sure, I'd be glad to help. How? It's simple. going to be an American. Congratulations, you're just in time to pay your income tax. Working for Nixon this year, are you? Rockefeller? Romney? Regan? Nobody? Aha, you forgot, didn't you? Joke. I love your toothpaste. Yeah? Joke. Just come from a pajama party? Joke. How are all the other inmates? <laughs> When'd you get out of the tank? Oh, good heavens. You want a zebra joke? <laughs> no? Ladies and gentlemen, one of the first hippies. Which end is up? Oh, I would walk a mile for you. One mile for you, I would walk. Stiff neck? Oh, my llama. My great llama, oh llama, llama, my llama, tell me something. 
my llama done told me. I study every living creature's language. I could speak to all of them on sight. If friends said, can he talk in crab a pelican? You'd say like elegant, and you'd be right. And if you just stop and think of it, there's no doubt of it, I could win a place in history. If I could walk with the animal, talk with the animal, run, squeak, squawk with animals. Marvin, when you sing, I always say to myself, ah. Oh, thank you, sir. That's the kind of sentiment that really makes me believe my trip out here wasn't in vain. No, I really mean it, Merv. You're my favorite singer next to Carl Rabazza and Joe Valachi. Oh, that's terrific. Uh, now, if you leave the stage, I'm going to do my next number, okay? Leave the stage? You're uh, not talking to that Britisher now that you have on your show. Yeah. I'm the Yiddisher, and this is my show. <laughs> I just thought I wanted to tell you that, you see, because all I wanted to really do, Merv, is to do a do-it with you. A what? A do-it. D-O-I-T, do it. Oh, a do-it. Yeah, yeah, I thought 